Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Jacob back here for the J2H channel, and today we have a uh, almost an annual video at this point. We have my Black Friday pickups. Um, not a ton. Uh, one digitally, two video games, and two titles off the top that I got during the week of Black Friday, um, but they are not actually Black Friday titles. Oh, and two that are Cyber Monday, so kind of a hodgepodge, but basically this the deals I found. Um, not a ton every year. I spend my I, see, I find myself spending less and less during Black Friday, at least on movies. A lot of that is due to the success of the channel and some of the things I get to review. Some of that is um, finding more and more resources like someone like Down to Movie or others that I can uh, I could purchase the movies by, by cheaper means even than Black Friday, you know, secondhand and Pam from the Video Game Movie Dome. So um, spending less and less, but really things I, I need or couldn't find for a better price, etc. So like I said, first thing, it's definitely not a Black Friday title. This was actually uh, Dollar Tree. I was at Dollar Tree for something I needed for Thanksgiving. I saw this. My wife has been watching a ton of videos like this, so I grabbed it for her. It's called Harry Potter, A History of Magic. It's a BBC documentary. It runs about an hour, 59 minutes. So I thought it would be something cool. It was a dollar. I mean, it's 25 now, but pretty cool. Even if she's, you know, knew everything that was in this or watched it on a bootleg um, on YouTube it was a dollar so i took a chance um the next thing is if it's not my favorite movie of all time is very very close and at one time it was my favorite movie of all time um for whatever reason walmart had the steelbook on sale for if it wasn't 9.99 or 9.96 it was like 10 30 um had it on sale and i managed to grab myself a copy before it sold out um so we have tommy boy on blu-ray steelbook the steelbook looks fantastic this movie is so good it's one of my favorites of all time like I said, at one point it was my favorite movie. Like, if you asked me at one point what my favorite movie was, it was just Tommy Boy. It was immediate. I knew it right off the top of my head. Now I kind of struggle. Is it Back to the Future? I don't know. Either way, they're both fantastic. Um, I'm hoping... Well, I'm hoping I just found a good deal and, you know, I can keep it on my shelf. I know they're re-releasing the Steelbook now with a digital code. I own it digitally. I'm not too worried about that. I would rebuy this for a 4K. I think this needs to be on 4K. And I'm excited for that day to come. So those are the only two titles that are not Black Friday or Cyber Monday. The first three things, actually, the bulk of these, yeah, most of these are Best Buy. But the first three things were, um, I think the Monday of or the Monday before, there was a small um, Best Buy sale, which potentially turned into a glitch, or potentially was a glitch, but I managed to get in and buy some things during that sale. It was the Monday prior to Black Friday, so like not not the, not the Monday of Thanksgiving, but the week before. Either way, I grabbed three titles. Two, one of them was on my absolute need to grab list. Two of them were cheap enough where I grabbed them. Uh, one of them is a rebuy. I actually got this to review at one point and got rid of my copy and re-upgraded it after I after my son fell in love with this franchise. So I have Sonic, the original Sonic on 4K, missing the slip. I'll get it at some point. Um, he absolutely loves this, and I figure if I have to rewatch it, might as well watch it in the best quality possible. This was only 8 bucks, And then I, I didn't get this one for, for review, luckily, and I got this for $10. I have the digital code already, so that's not a big deal. Um, Sonic 2 on 4K. Although it is annoying, it no longer comes with the Blu-ray. It's just a 4K and digital copy. Um, these dings are for my son. He was very excited and played with the cases. He was you know, fighting with them, etc. So, Sonic 1 and 2, basically for the boy. One was 10, one was... Yeah, one was 10, one was 8, so not a big deal. And then this title I got for a dollar. Came brand new with slipcover. Uh, this completes the franchise for me. I have all six. Um, I enjoyed this one. I watched it in theaters this year. Jurassic Park Dominion. I like that slipcover on there, the way that black and orange feels. It's very matte finish with some glossiness. So $10, brand new with a slipcover, shipped from Best Buy. Extended edition, which I have yet, <coughs> excuse me, I have yet to see, despite the fact that it's on Peacock, and I have Peacock. Um, so those were the online sales through Best Buy. The next three two things were physically in a Best Buy. This, uh, the next one is a complete blind buy. I have not watched this. I've heard amazing things, and I'm very excited to check this out, though now that I've actually bought it to watch, it'll be on like Hulu the next day. So we have Everything Everywhere All at Once on 4K. 
I think this was ten dollars. I grabbed it at Best Buy. I figured if I'm gonna blind buy again, watch it in the best uh, best quality possible. Um, a metaphysical multiverse galaxy brain head trip. I've heard amazing things. Like I've heard like this is what Doctor Strange should have been. It's so good. People were clamoring for the uh, Walmart exclusive slipcover, which is just eyes. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to check it out. I really am. Especially because it's A24. And then the other two things. So, when Black Friday hit, I said I need to grab two things. One of them is to complete the collection. I don't own it. And the other one is an upgrade of a movie I think is severely over, severely underrated. I bought the Blu-ray from Pam not that long ago to show the wife. We have yet to watch it. So now I get to upgrade to the 4K and experience it in 4K for the first time with her. Um, Looper, Bruce Willis, and uh, what's his name? Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Yeah, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Um, super underrated movie. I liked this a lot. Um, yeah, so I can get rid of my Blu-ray copy I just got. And upgrade to 4K brand new. Couldn't find it with the slip, which is a bummer, but oh well. I liked this. Let me know your thoughts on Looper. I think it's severely underrated. Um, next two things are video games. If you haven't watched the video yet, I did buy a Switch. Um, I was able to uh, snag it, actually I think in September, and I posted a video semi-recently to, to let you know like your thoughts, what movies or what games should I look out for, etc. Um, and the, this is, oh shoot. Hold on a second. I totally forgot another title. But anyway, this is on my son and I's radar both because I think it sounds super fun. He likes Sonic. I like Mario. I grabbed Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. Um, I'm not sure. I didn't catch on that it was Tokyo 2020. Either way, it's Mario versus Sonic. He loves Sonic so much, as you can tell. And uh, I thought it would be something cool. I think this is 25 or 29 through Best Buy. And then the, the, the thing I forgot, I actually grabbed... At five a or no at six a.m. at Walmart, I was actually um, on my way to the gym, and I saw the line forming at Walmart. I figured, why not? I'm gonna run in there see if they have anything super awesome on sale. They did not, but I did grab this for ten dollars on the Switch, Sonic Forces. So yet another game my son can play. Super Sonic fan. This is a one player though, which is kind of a bummer. But either way, he can play it. I mean, I could too, but I won't. So two Sonic games. And then I did grab on the Nintendo Switch store um, for $10. I grabbed the digital version of um, Yu-Gi-Oh! I think it's Conquest of the Dueler. Put an image up over here. Um, but I have the free version of the Yu-Gi-Oh! game. And now I bought the $10 version of the Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Because I like, I'm into Yu-Gi-Oh! And I have been since I was a kid. So if we get $10, if I play it once or twice, it said you could recreate your favorite duels from like the show. Which really intrigued me, so... I'll grab that for 10 bucks. And then speaking of anime, the last two things are both from Cyber Monday on Amazon. I've recently gotten into this show like big time. I'm I'm loving the show. I'm about halfway through season two, if not done with it by the time this airs. Um, and I know these take place like between seasons, so I wanted to make sure that I could watch these. Um, and they were on sale. One was eight bucks, which I believe is this one. We have my Hero Academia, Two Heroes. Um, I think this one comes first. This one was 8 bucks. with Blu-ray, DVD, and digital through Funimation there. Um, very much looking forward to these. And then we have My Hero Academia, Heroes Rising, which I believe is the second movie. It's 2019. I'm going off the copyright date, because I don't know that much about it yet. So Heroes Rising, this one's embossed. This one was 12, so I need... Is it World Missions? Two World Missions? World Missions? Something like that is the third film, though I'm not there yet, and it's still full price. So, two My Hero Academia movies. Like I said, I'm super into this show right now. I'm very much loving it. I'm uh, just very excited to watch these, and then I can watch these in full HD. I'm watching them on Hulu or Crunchyroll, depending on the episode and where I'm watching them. So to watch these on my own my own uh, television, I'm watching them at work. Uh, to watch these on my own television at home in, a, in their full feature films, I'm excited, so... But yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, Cyber Monday and Black Friday. Go ahead and get this bread and show you the haul here. Um, so we have My Hero Academia. Does it tell you on the side? Yeah, Two Heroes. Is it? Yeah, Two Heroes. My Hero Academia. Um, 
Heroes Rising. Jeez. We have uh, Sonic Forces, Mario vs. Sonic at the Olympic Games, Looper on 4K, Everything Everywhere All at Once on 4K, Jurassic World Dominion on 4K, Sonic 2, and Sonic on 4K, Tommy Boy on Blu-ray, and Harry Potter, the history of magic. So, a slim haul compared to the other years, but I think a worthwhile haul and some things I need to, to catch up on. So, that's the haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to support the channel in any way, links in the descriptions to my ebay.com, my blu-ray.com, my uh, Twitter, my Instagram, my TV time, where I rate and review all the TV shows I watch, like My Hero Academia, and movies I watch, like Looper or Jurassic Park uh, World. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, catch you later. Hey, did you like yet? Did you subscribe yet? Did you click that notification bell? Go ahead and click that notification bell right there so you never miss anything on the channel. And also over here should be additional features for the channel. Um, there should be a video or a playlist or both, maybe one of each for you to stay informed and stay on the channel. And also be sure to subscribe on your way out right about here.